Friday night, MAC championship, OU against Western Michigan. Yep. Does does OU have a chance? They they got a chance. They got a pretty good defense. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to score against Western Michigan, and um, uh, that's going to be their biggest <coughs> challenge. They may they may hold Western Michigan to 24 instead of 34 points, but. The Bobcats getting 24 points is certainly uh, not a foregone conclusion. Well, what's on the line in this game? Besides the championship, what else is on the line? Well, Western Michigan is playing to, to get into that January 1 bowl and the Cotton Bowl. That's that's six million dollar payday to the oh. Mid American Conference. Wow, so, big money. So there is some pressure there uh, for for them to do well. But they, to their credit, they they've done pretty well. I mean, they've been in the spotlight here the last three or four weeks and have held up pretty well uh, under that glare. So uh, they had their one, the one chance that they had to kind of slip up was a uh, weather game. They played in the rain and all that over at Kent and they were, uh, they were trailing into the third, fourth quarter before they pulled that one out. That was probably the one game that where there was a chance for them to, to fall off the ledge. But since then, they've just been rolling people. So, well, qu quickly, we're at the time of year we're talking about coaching changes and what yeah. jobs are opening up. Coach Fleck at, at Western, uh, Purdue, Houston. Why go to Purdue? <laughs> I mean, you know, you might as what well you stay. Purdue? You might as well stay, nothing. I, I mean, you might as well stay at Western Michigan. Uh, you know, if Notre Dame opens up, maybe you look at that. But if 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 I'm Fleck, I mean, he's already the highest paid coach in the league, half million dollars. Uh, a, a year, which is well over the standard in the Mid-American Conference. He's not going to get that much more than that, I wouldn't believe, at Purdue. Uh, for a lot more grief. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, it, if it were me, I'd say just wait for Northwestern to open or Illinois to open or Notre Dame to open. You know, I think he's a Midwest guy, so I think he'll stay in the Midwest or in this region. I don't think he'll go, you know, Houston would be a great place if Houston was, you know, Thousand miles closer, right? <laughs> but uh, so I, he may go to Purdue, but you know, I, I would think out for twelve and zero season, you can get better than that.